Hello everyone, my name is Amul More and welcome to our channel Solution to Black Book. Now, today one of our students has asked this question relating to inverse trigonometric functions. Okay, so the question is x equal to sine inverse of sine 10 and y equal to cos inverse of cos 10 and we need to find out y minus x. Okay, so first of all you should know a few things that sine inverse of x belongs to minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Sine inverse ha x has the range minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. It means it can only fetch answers in this particular range. And cos inverse of x belongs to 0 to pi. It means cos inverse x can only fetch you the answers from 0 to pi. Very well. So let us start. So x is equal to sine inverse of sine 10. So suppose some of you try to cancel this and write down the answer as 10. Okay. But does 10 lie in this particular range? See this particular range can approximately be called as pi is 3.14. So it will be 3.14 by 2 minus 1.57. And this will be 1.57 definitely 10 does not lie in this range it means this answer is wrong so we need to make a few changes let us make them suppose sine inverse of sine 10 is there now just try to make some changes in this 10 and while making those changes remember that sine is positive in first and second quadrant so you try pi plus 10, pi minus 10, 2 pi plus 10, 3 pi minus 10 and so on. So such 3-4 combinations you should try. So you will get sine inverse of sine of 3 pi minus 10. As we all know sine of 3 pi minus 10 is what? Sine of 3 pi cos of 10 minus cos of 3 pi sine of 10. So if you solve that, you will definitely get what? You will get sine of 10. So sine of 10 can very well be written as sine of 3 pi minus 10. Everybody knows that. So now sine inverse and sine, if they nullify each other and we get 3 pi minus 10. Now check 3 pi minus 10 whether this lies in the range. So pi is approximately 3.14. So this will be approximately 9.42 minus 10 which will be approximately minus 0 0.58. So minus 0 0.58 definitely lies in the range of sine inverse of x. Therefore this is totally right. Okay. So sine inverse of sine 10 is nothing but sine of 3 pi minus 10. I will give you a trick to solve such kind of sine inverse of sine question. You should always go for pi plus theta pi minus theta 3 pi plus theta and 3 pi minus theta 5 pi plus theta and 5 pi minus theta something like that but definitely what answers are going to help us so second quadrant answers so that is why this are cancelled only minus are considered see pi minus theta 3 pi minus theta and 5 pi minus theta just try this for many questions you will understand that on your own you have to try pi minus theta 3 pi minus theta and 5 pi minus theta okay so here we have tried 3 pi minus theta and that came out to be in the range okay now as you can see cos inverse of cos of 10 they have asked so if you cancel cos inverse cos and write down 10 10 does not lie in this range 0 to 3.14 so it will be totally wrong so we will try something else so for cos inverse you should always try even multiples of pi and for sine inverse of sine you should try odd multiples of pi so let me write down this as cos of 4 pi minus 10 now let us do it orally cos of 4 pi minus 10 will be equal to cos 4 pi cos 10 plus sine 4 pi sine 10 so that comes out to be cos 4 pi is 1 cos 10 so our answer will be equal to 4 pi minus 10 
Now 4 pi minus 10 will be approximately equal to 12.56 minus 10 because pi is approximately equal to 3.14. So this will be equal to 2.56 and 2.56 very well lie in the range of 0 to 3.14. Hence our answer 4 pi minus 10 is totally right. So this was x and this is y. Therefore, they have asked us y minus x. Now, what is y? 4 pi minus 10. And what is x? 3 pi minus 10. So, this will be equal to 4 pi minus 10 minus 3 pi plus 10. Now, minus 10 and plus 10 gets cancelled. So, 4 pi minus 3 pi is pi. Therefore, the correct option to this question is option number 4, which is pi. So, always remember that sin inverse x will lie within minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and cos inverse x will lie within 0 to pi and utilizing this, you can simply get your answers. Thank you for watching the video guys and do not forget to like, share and comment on this video and do not forget to subscribe to our channel.